Yo, buenos dias, que pasa? You guys, John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today before us, we still have the Indian FTR 1200. Beautiful motorcycle. Shout out to Indian Motorcycles. I've had this bike going on like six, seven months. I'm surprised they haven't fired me and come to take the bike back, but I'm fortunate to still have it in my possession. However, I haven't been able to ride the bike in quite some time. And so today I'm gonna to take it for a quick spin from kind of a renewed look on life, a renewed perspective, not having ridden it. And we're gonna answer the age old question, is the FTR 1200 really as crazy and gnarly and as much a hooligan bike as it's touted to be? Let's check it out. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hit it up. Bam, we'll turn the key. Yo, look at that. Second try. All right, so you would think with, I think, what is it, 120 horsepower, 85 foot-pounds of torque, weighing in at about 515 pounds wet, you'd think, yes, this thing is gonna be a gnarly machine, and also it's got that V-twin. So yeah, let's jump back on the bike. I'm not gonna do anything crazy because I've been working the last three nights and I'm severely sleep deprived. been a while since I rode this bike it doesn't feel super foreign I feel like I'm back on the saddle again in sport mode which I used to not ride it in sport mode often it is super super sensitive like it's a twitchy throttle very very responsive not too much but for a newer rider or a more conservative rider yeah it's pretty gnarly there and as always that V twin is just a lot more low in torque, a lot gruntier. And that's barely hitting it where it freaking kicks into gear. So the big question, is this as crazy as they say it is? It is and it isn't. It's a hooligan bike for sure. It lives up to that name. Um, <clears throat> just got that characteristic to it but it is possible to ride this bike in a more tame laid-back manner if you throw it into standard mode man it's just so grunty throw it into standard mode and put a throttle restriction on it and then you'll be fine you'll be a-okay but otherwise yeah she's crazy sure where I'm going but nothing new there bro I feel like I don't know where I'm going in life am I right dog speaking of age-old questions so that's standard mode this thing is so this thing even in standard mode is crazy super gnarly bro all right, so here's the thing, man, with motorcycles in general. I'm gonna go by an old friend's house. Back in the day, I used to ride my bike to my high school. We'd meet at my buddy's house over here every morning, ride BMX, screw around, and then ride to school. And then on our way home, we would do the same thing. Those were the days, man. Just go to school and ride bicycles. Now I just go to work and ride motorcycles and take care of my kids and go to work and do other stuff. I guess life hasn't really changed a whole lot. Anyway, with these motorcycles, whether it be an MTO9 or it's, you know, a Super Sport or this bike here, or even a Honda Grand for that matter. Yeah, it's a little different with the Honda Grand. A lot of it comes down to the rider. This bike is a crazy bike though. All right, you guys, I don't know if this is a recording or not. The battery might be dying here, but I stopped by my old stomping grounds and two of my best friends growing up that we used to ride with all the time their dad lives there still and he happened to be outside uh, washing off the sidewalk so stopped caught up with him had a really good really good chat so Matt and John shout out to you guys twins 
Anyway, back to the motorcycle, man. This bike's awesome. A lot of fun. Uh, just take it easy. That's all I can say. Get comfortable on the bike. I'm like too scared even right now to like try ripping a wheel, a wheelie, because just because I'm no longer really used to the bike, but um, <coughs> it takes time to get used to it. Like and subscribe if you guys dig the content. Uh, the support's always appreciated. We'll catch you guys next time. Los famous. Look at this. It's almost like they're alive. Crazy. I'm doing a uh, new, new challenge for myself because I haven't been super motivated lately to do videos and stuff like that on the channel, but I want to. But I don't have a lot of time either, so what I've basically decided is I've come up with a little game plan basically a schedule that I'm gonna try to stick to and this morning the schedule is I get off work do a little straighten up in the house get my work about work out out of the way and then do a video even if I'm not feeling like it because that's the difference between discipline and motivation motivation you may not have it every day whereas the discipline whether or not you're motivated you still do it that's your motivational Friday bro even though it's Friday Friday Monday Motivation Monday on a Friday. Anyway, so I'm trying to stick to that. I'm trying to be more disciplined in doing what I'm doing. So.